Hi friends, in this small video I'm going to show you how to compute most commonly used statistical values with using Microsoft Excel 2007. As we learned from classroom, sometimes it needs a lot of computations to find these values. But with using such kind of softwares, you can find the average, maximum, minimum, standard deviation values by just one click. In this video, I'm going to use this data set. These are the midterm grades of 25 people. The most commonly used statistical tools that we learn from our classroom were maximum, minimum, mean, standard deviation, variance, range, median, and more. As you know, if you want to make an operation in Microsoft Office, first, you have to select this area. Even if you want to change the format, for example, increase the font size, decrease, change the color, paint the area, bold, italic, underline. So we have to select this area. I'm going back because this is just for demonstration okay so to make our computation we again select this area first we are going to click the cell that we are going to write to this cell I'm going to write the maximum value Okay, it's time to find our values. At the beginning, I want to remind you that we find these values to interpret or to summarize our data set. At first look, this data set has no meaning. However, after making these computations, we add value to our data set. Okay, let's begin. To find our values, we are going to use this effects button. To find the maximum value, click effects. This means function, insert function. So you select statistical tools here and go to maximum. I just hit M on the keyboard and go to max. OK. So, we are going to select our data set to the number one. For additional data set, you can use number two additionally. Then click OK. Then our maximum value is 96. It's here. To find minimum, again, we go to FX find minimum click OK then select your data set click OK mean mean is a very useful tool as an engineer we love mean average so you go to statistical tools again and find the average click OK then select your data set. Again, if you want to add an additional data set, you can click number two and select your data set. Then OK. So the mean of our data is 75. Standard deviation. Standard deviation, again, go to effects, statistical, find the standard deviation here standard deviation and variance as you remember shows the variability in our data set click OK then select your data set then OK 
you can decrease the number of decimals by going here you see decrease decimal okay two decimals is okay to find the variance go to effects go to variance okay select your data set click OK to find range range means the maximum value minus minimum value I mean the difference between maximum and minimum value so you click here and hit the equal sign in your keyboard then click this cell minus this cell then enter then this is going to give you the, the difference between the maximum and the minimum value to find the median again go to FX find the median from your data set from your menu and select your data set okay mode to find mode again go to let's go and find the mode here mode means the most frequently occurring or repetitive value in your data set click OK and select your data set then OK so these are our statistical values to show or interpret our data set.